over the chairmanship of the uh, Cyprus Investment Promotion Agency on 9th of January. Invest Cyprus is the, um, I should say, the investment arm of the government. Uh, it's the organization that uh, the government wants to entrust the promotion of our country as the ideal uh, investment destination. We try to put a, um, a plan, a three-year plan, to show our direction, both um, geographically and the line of businesses that we wanted to promote for. The second is to facilitate. Uh, we don't leave the investors when they come to Cyprus. When they come over here, we want to uh, be absolutely sure that they found what they wanted and they proceed with their investments uh, the way they planned it. So we are here to help them with that. And the third pillar is to try and assist the government on any kind of reforms that they have to pass uh, either through the parliament or through any regulations that uh, they need to be uh, in place in order to uh, proceed with as much uh, ease of work for the foreign investors as we can. So these are the three most important pillars that we base our work on. And our plan is uh, proceeding in accordance with uh, what we focus on all, three, on all these three pillars uh, um, as we go along. We choose companies that they have real value in Cyprus. And uh, the selection is done very, very carefully. The, the, the companies, they represent a whole spectrum of geographical locations. You will see that all the, all the companies, they have different destinations. So uh, we want to uh, focus on the one hand to promote Cyprus in, uh, uh, in destinations, in countries that we didn't have the chance to before. And uh, by that, we mean geographical areas that we know there is a big interest um, for investment funds, for the education, for health. As you all know, uh, health industry in Cyprus is undergoing a huge reform. Uh, and uh, also a part, or I have to say, from the three main uh, driving forces of the Cyprus economy, which is, uh, of course, the tourism, real estate, and the um, uh, shipping industry. So we want to focus on some other things, some more innovative ways of uh, promoting our uh, new industries, new fields that we want to promote. And these areas are based mainly in the Asian market. Uh, so we want to make a breakthrough in, uh, in Singapore. We want to promote also Cyprus into the Indian uh, filming industry. We want to promote Cyprus in the uh, United States uh, as far as the headquartering and the uh, energy sector are concerned. And uh, startups and innovation that we have a lot of um, toxin right now going through with Israel specifically and uh, we are uh, proceeding to have a very good uh, collaboration with the Israel government through the embassy in Cyprus how we can promote these fields uh, of uh, uh, the line of businesses that we want to promote. We think that um, if British businesses that they would like to have a base uh, in a European country after the Brexit in March 2019, then why not being Cyprus? I mean, uh, Cyprus, there are more than 70,000 Britons living here. We have more than half a million Cypriots living in the UK. There are a lot of Russians in the UK, not only in Cyprus. There are a lot of Indians in the UK, not only in Cyprus. And there are a lot of other ethnicities that they would like to have uh, their businesses move away since they think that it will not be uh, properly serviced under the new regime uh, outside a single market if this is going to be the Brexit, as we say, the hard Brexit. Uh, because the hard Brexit actually, it means that they are not going to be part of the single market. So a lot of businesses they want to be part of that market and why not do it through Cyprus? 
Cyprus is a beautiful country. Cyprus gives all the incentives that an investor would like. Uh, we are the only safe country. You know that we have been voted by Guardian in 2017 uh, as the safest country to do business for youngsters. So, I mean, if we have these kind of um, assertions uh, about Cyprus, why not uh, somebody choose Cyprus? We have a location, a very strategic location, that everybody who does business, uh, then I don't think they would like a better location than Cyprus. A lot of companies, well, perhaps I'm exaggerating when I say a lot, but quite a few uh, companies that they have their base in Dubai, they are ready to come to Cyprus. We have the uh, quali qualified staff uh, to be in Cyprus. Uh, you know that Cyprus uh, is ranked second in the world compared to, po to population in university graduates. And more than 80% of the university graduates are from the UK. Uh, we have all the um, business um, uh, advantages that somebody would look like. Would, would, would look for, and we have more than 60, 62 double tax uh, agreements that makes life easier for the business people because double tax credit means that they will not be taxed on the same income twice. So they like all these kind of uh, uh, advantages that we have to do business because Cyprus is a good place to live. And we have a lot of people that they bring their families, they bring their children, and they um, try to make it their home as uh, also uh, their base for business. Investment funds is one of the areas that we gave a lot of effort in order to promote it and uh, with very good, very good results I have to say. We have more than 18% increase in registering investment, investment funds in Cyprus and this is um, very good because you know we started late and uh, comparing to three to four years now of uh, promoting the investment funds and having almost 20% increase in each year, it's a fantastic um, uh, number of, uh, of registrations. And this uh, uh, makes Cyprus now having more than, if I'm not mistaken, more than two and a half billion of asset management in, in Cyprus investment funds. The energy, of course, it's... Um, something that everybody looks very uh, uh, positively ahead. Uh, we know that there are uh, uh, a lot of uh, business going along uh, in the next few months, uh, especially by ExxonMobil. As you know, they will start uh, drilling in uh, somewhere in November. And uh, we expect that the um, plot 10 will give what we hope it will give and these will be used uh, to finance all the rest of the um, uh, growth that we want to bring into Cyprus. It's a very, a very important sector in our economy that we expect it will give uh, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, pluses, shall I say. Uh, the filming industry, it's a new... Um, sector that we want to promote and it will be promoted heavily. Uh, we know that there is a lot of interest uh, not only uh, in uh, filming uh, parts of uh, uh, some productions but uh, uh, Cyprus is a by itself a filming uh, location so it's a studio as I say by itself so why not? It's something that we want to uh, uh, show. It can uh, um, assist a lot of those people to choose Cyprus. You know that they spend millions and millions, uh, and especially Bollywood spends three times as much as Hollywood does. So we have a lot of interest from Indian film. Apart from that, we have, I would say now, the best package of incentives from the, for the filming industry 
uh, around. So it's going to be very, very important uh, uh, sector of the uh, future economy. We closed with 3.9% uh, rate of growth last year, uh, which is uh, the highest in the Eurozone and uh, the second highest in the whole Europe. And uh, we are going to close around 3.8% this year and 3.5% the next year. So a continuous rate of growth high enough will give a very good advantage on all the other um, uh, economic uh, sectors that we want to, um, uh, to be assisted by this growth. And the growth means uh, surpluses, surpluses means uh, money and money means uh, also social uh, reforms that they need to take place in order to facilitate the good quality of life uh, for the Cypriots and not only. As I said, um, we have problems and these problems we want to be solved by uh, promoting the right uh, reforms that they need to. And uh, one, and I think the biggest is the e-governance. It's something that uh, we are discussing uh, with the Ministry of uh, Interior because e-governance, it must be a way of life. It cannot be just uh, words. We have to put it in practice if we want to say that Cyprus is the uh, right and innovative and all these nice things that you say about the country uh, if you want to attract the right investments. So we want to do that and it's our top priority. I come from the business uh, people uh, of the business community in Cyprus. I have more than 35 years of experience in the local and the international market. I'm a partner at KPMG so I know everything about uh, this kind of business and the investment uh, um, uh, business and how we can promote it because I'm doing it all my life. I am promoting businesses and now I'm given the opportunity to promote my own country and this is the most important thing for me and that's why uh, from the first uh, moment I said to the president that um, it seems you trust me a lot and I trust you a lot and together we are going to do this kind of job to bring what we hope we will bring for the sustainability of the growth and the uh, economic um, uh, strengthening of our country. And if you, are, if you are a little country, you don't have a lot of weapons to fight with. What you have is basically your economic strength. If you have an economic strength, then everybody look at you and they listen to you and they can see that you mean business. And this is our objective the next, at least, till the end of my tenure, which is it's until the uh, next annual general uh, meeting of the organization. So until then, we want to make Cyprus a place that we will bring people to see that they can invest. They see that they can trust us, they can trust the system, they can trust this uh, small island in the Mediterranean, that they can use it in a way that it will bring them value to their businesses and at the same time bring value to our economy. It's something which is a win-win uh, for everybody. And this is my objective for the next at least two years. And from there on, we will see.